Okay, absolute value. If I have x plus 3 and the absolute value of that equals 5, then all I have to do is change it into two problems. I change it into two. Okay? One, x plus 3 equals 5. It's the same problem, right? And two, x plus 3 equals negative 5. So one of them's going to give me a negative answer, and one of them's going to give me a positive answer. And then I just solve. Minus 3, minus 3. So I get x equals 2. Okay? And minus 3, minus 3, and I get x equals negative 8. So my final answer is x equals negative 8 and 2. So I have two solutions. Okay? And that, that's basically it. The only other thing you've got with absolute value is if you have, say, 2 times the absolute value of x plus 4 minus 3 equals, I don't know, 5. Okay? So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to solve for the absolute value. So I'm going to, again, sad map it to get absolute value by itself. So plus 3, plus 3. And I get 2 times the absolute value of x plus 4 equals 8. Okay? And then I've got to divide by 2. It's still sad map, dm, right? So I'm going to divide by 2 and divide by 2. And that cancels that out. So I get x plus 4 equals 4, right? Now, this is the absolute value of x plus 4, so I'm going to do x plus 4 equals 4, and I'm going to do x plus 4 equals negative 4, and then I solve. So minus 4 minus 4, x equals uh, 0, and then minus 4 and minus 4, and x equals negative 8. So x equals negative 8 and 0. And I always put the lowest number first. Okay? And that's absolute value. A really quick...